Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here today again with Dr. Kish. We are talking today about PMS, which mm. is something that I do not get. Why do some women get it? Ah, okay, so, um, you know, we've got these wonderful rhythms that we get with the hormonal production uh, every cycle. And then just before the period happens, we get a rapid decline in estrogen and progesterone, and that's a signal for the body to shed the lining of the womb, and then the whole thing starts again. But what happens as the hormones rapidly shut down is that it can have a profound effect on mood. And this can range from like a mild irritation to quite severe swinging of mood, right? And you know, I'm sure many people have experienced it. And I never have, but I can certainly <laughs> empathize. And uh, I've, I've heard a lot about it. But this is, this is definitely something that people complain about when they come to see me. And it can be quite, it can have quite a bad impact on people's lives, to say the least. And almost, almost to the point of where it's causing sort of a, a, a depression. So um, because, it's, because it's caused by that sort of rhythmical change in hormones, um, one of the strategies I use is to soften that rapid decline in the hormones and actually give a little bit of extra hormones throughout the cycle so that people don't experience the such extreme lows mm. um, as you might as you might experience otherwise um why are some people more prone to it i think it's genetics i mean mm. we're all different we're all like a fingerprint so everyone has their own susceptibilities to certain things and that sort of that decline in estrogen and progesterone is just harsher in some women than others and it's also the effect on the receptors of those hormones that is key in what happens to you in terms of symptoms. Okay, so how are you testing mm. this? So we test on day, so day 22, day 20 to 22, we will do a blood test, which is probably reasonably giving us an idea of where your progesterone levels would be. And then we would look at how we might be able to support you, mm -hmm. um, either with supplementation of progesterone throughout the cycle, or maybe at just half of the cycle when it's most necessary. So you're literally just giving progesterone? Yeah, progesterone and sometimes a bit of nutritional advice, but it is usually just progesterone. Okay. Uh, oral? Oral, yes, absolutely. Oral and sometimes I'll give transdermal. Mm -hmm. yeah, it just depends on the patient. Some patients find that they don't get on with the oral very well and they find that they feel quite sleepy. Mm -hmm. That's one of the side effects. Well, conversely, if you're having problems sleeping... They love it. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. So what else might you do? So it's not always an issue thanks to that sort of cyclical change in progesterone. So if there are other psychological issues, I think they need to be unpacked a bit more and that could be through the patient's GP. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that, that's really it. Well, that was a mega short video, mm -hmm. probably the shortest ever. Um, okay, so that leads us quite nicely onto the fact that we're gonna be talking about acne next. Mm. Yes, all right, so see you here soon. Ta-ra.